Hi everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. Today we are going to talk about the Mac dock. That's where all the little icons are at the bottom, where you launch your programs on a Mac. If you don't have a Mac, and you don't care about the Mac, or you're super organized already, then you can go ahead and shuttle forward. Here's the deal. On a Mac, you can have all these icons spread out, but I noticed that it would be so great to have a way to group them together so that I can have all my photography icons in one place, one group, and then all my icons for other programs that I use, say for work outside of photography, in one group, and it just segments it. And this is such an easy way to do this. I, I can't wait to show you this trick. Now, keep in mind that it works on my Mac. I think it's gonna work on your Mac too. Gotta tell you, I take no responsibility if you screw something up, okay? You're on your own, but it's not that hard. So the first thing you need to do is open up the terminal app. There are two ways to do that. The first is to do command spacebar, and that'll open up Spotlight, and you can simply type in T-E-R-M until you see terminal app, and then press return on your keyboard. The other way that you could open it up would be to go to applications, utilities, and terminal is located right in there. However you open it, go ahead and open it. Once you have it opened, it'll look like this really exciting window right here, probably with your name on it. Anyway, what you're gonna be doing now is you're gonna copy that special line of code that's down in the description of this video, and you're going to paste it right into this window here. And simply copy it from the description, then go ahead and Command V, as in Victor, to paste it in, Command V, and that'll paste that line of text right in there. You could also type the whole thing out, but I recommend not doing that because it won't be as accurate. Once you do that, press return. That's it, you've just done it. It doesn't look like a whole lot has happened, but you have to do one more thing and that's force the dock to reload. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And the way you do that is you type in kill all dock with a space between it and make sure you have a capital D for dock. So K-I-L-L-A-L-L -L -L space capital D-O-C-K. That's it, press return. So now, check this out, look at my dock. I have this space thing here. Now it can act just like any other icon. If you right click it, you can remove from dock. So you can remove these if you don't want them. But what I like to do is I'm gonna move this now by clicking on it with my left mouse button and moving it over so that I have a separator between my photography apps and my day job apps, the coding and other apps. So I just made a space right there. I'm gonna do this again. Again, you have to copy that same level of code, Command V, paste it in here. Again, kill all doc, capital D-O-C-K. Boom, there we go, I have another space. I'm gonna move that space over to, oh, I don't know, maybe here. Now, have a look at this. My photography apps are all in their own little kind of section. And you can move these around and it'll stay permanent. When you turn off your Mac and turn it back on, it'll stay permanent. And again, if you don't like these spacers anymore, you can get rid of them by hovering your mouse over the space, right clicking and then selecting remove from dock. How awesome was that? Try it out on your Mac. I hope it helps you stay better organized. I got lots of other tips. If you want more of them, let me know in the comments. Remember, this is pal to tech, not pal to camera. So sometimes I'm gonna be given tips on things that don't have anything to do with cameras. And I think this tip for the Mac is actually really handy. Okay, ah, uh, wait a second. I almost forgot. What's happening to Fast Friday? I'm changing it up. I never liked the idea of this whole fast, keep it fast, keep it short, keep it quick. I think videos need to be just as long as they need to be to cover what they need to cover and not one second longer. But I don't believe in this nonsense of keep them under two minutes because it's a, you'll have more subscribers and blah, blah, I don't care. So from now on, no more Fast Friday. So as of this video now, we are changing it around and it is going to be called Fun Friday. Fun Friday is gonna be kind of a thing where, I, I, you know, it's not necessarily 100% all about gear and settings. It might be a tech tip, it might be a funny story. It'll be whatever the heck I want it to be. It's my channel, I enjoy this, so I'm gonna have 
fun with it and hopefully you will too. The Wednesday video, oh yeah, we are all in the Fuji X-T3. I've got some, I've got one, two, I got four videos right now in production specifically about autofocus, lens reviews, the whole bit. So those are still coming, but for the Friday gig, it's gonna be fun Friday, no more fast. I'm sick of fast. Everybody's in too much of a hurry anyway. All right, that's it. Have a nice, relaxing weekend, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Take care.